Hello, and welcome to Clerk of Court Live. My name is Ann Smith, and I am the Assistant Chief Deputy Clerk of, Domestic, of the Domestic Relations Division for the Honorable Dorothy Brown, Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County, and I will be your host this evening. You may view Clerk of Court Live on Can TV Channel 21 or on CanTV.org slash live. This is a live call-in show, and we welcome questions and comments from our audience. The number is 312-738-1060, so feel free to call in. Uh, this is our contact information. Please note uh, this information for the Office of the Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County. We're headquartered in the Daly Center at 50 West Washington with other locations around Cook County. Our phone telephone number is 603-5031 and our website is cookcountyclerkofcourt.org. Uh, I am happy to introduce this week's guest, Elizabeth Nevin, expungement manager for the Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County, Illinois, who will be speaking about the upcoming 2017 Expungement Summit and Alternative Remedies to Expungement and Sealing. Thank you for the inter introduction, Ann. I am very pleased to be here on Clerk of the Court Live. Could you please tell the audience about the Clerk's Office Second Chance Expungement Summit? And I'm just going to put this on very briefly on the um, overhead. This is our flyer. My pleasure, Ann. The 2017 Second Chance Adult and Juvenile Expungement Summit will be held on Saturday, June 10th, 2017 at Unity Junior High School, which is located at 2115 South 54th Avenue, Cicero, Illinois. Registration begins at 8.30 a.m. and the doors close at 6 p.m. There will also be a Second Chance Job Information Seminar featuring job preparation workshops for our customers and there will be information about companies that hire ex-offenders. And what is the purpose of the Expungement Summit? The Expungement Summit is a community service offered by Clerk Dorothy Brown as a vehicle to educate the citizens of Cook County about the legal processes that can be taken to handle their past criminal records. Once a person is arrested, they have a criminal record in the court system that is publicly accessible through the clerk of the circuit court's office. This may affect a person's ability to get a job, housing, educational, and various social services. At the expungement summit, Clerk Brown brings the clerk's office to various communities to give attendees the opportunity to get free legal assistance from volunteer attorneys to file petitions for expungement or sealing on site. And could you also tell us what are expungement and sealing? That's a very good question. There is a difference between expungement and sealing. An expungement is the removal or destruction of a criminal record as ordered by the court. When a record is expunged, it is physically destroyed by the arresting agency as if it never existed. Mm. If the court grants a case that expunged, the clerk's office removes information pertaining to that case from the record. In order to do that, the clerk's office seals the file removes all access about the case from the public access terminals and notifies all agencies involved, such as the arresting police agency and the Illinois State Police, that this case has been ordered expunged. One of the main differences is that a person may not qualify for an expungement because they may have a conviction, but they may qualify for a sealing. Since misdemeanor convictions tend to be minor criminal offenses, the Illinois legislation has made sealing a case possible even if you have a felony conviction. When a record is sealed, it is no longer available to a potential employer or other members of the public, but it still can be seen by law enforcement agencies or healthcare organizations such as hospitals. Hmm. Very interesting. 
the clerk's office, we follow the same procedures for sealing a case as we do when we expunge the case. All right, where can I get a certified copy of my disposition? Mm. Certified copies of dispositions can be obtained at 2650 South California Avenue at the Criminal Courts Building, at the Daily Center, 50 West Washington, room 1006, or any of the suburban districts. However, since the clerk is bringing her office out to the community, we will have the ability to print, certify copies of participants' dispositions right on site at the summit. Oh, that's excellent. Well, what, if anything, do I need to bring to the expungement summit? Yeah. <laughs> participants are very strongly urged to bring a copy of their criminal history report, or what can commonly be called a rap, rap sheet. sheet. All right. Mm -hmm. The rap sheet would be obtained by going to the Chicago Police Department located at 3510 South Michigan Avenue. This will make it extremely more easy to identify the participant's Cook County arrest history. However, if you are unable to obtain your rap sheet before the summit, please still come. We encourage you to still try to come. We will try to locate your cases with any information that you might be able to give us. Okay. Well, how long does the expungement or sealing process take? Each process varies a little bit. Um, a person's criminal history may be expunged anywhere between 90 and 180 days, depending on the location that it is filed. If a participant is filing a petition at the summit for a Chicago, District 4, which is Maywood, or District 6, which is Markham, they will receive a court date on the day that they file at the summit. That court date usually is about 75 days to 90 days in the future. Um, each petition is heard on a case-by-case -case basis. The petition to seal process requires a period of not less than 90 days. Mm. Okay, well, what if I'm not prepared to pay the fee at the expungement summit? Well, we have accommodated those participants also. We will have several judges present to conduct hearings for indigent petitions to determine if a customer qualifies oh. to have their fees waived. So we encourage everyone to participate. You will be able to sit down with an attorney one-on-one -on -one, who will then determine if you qualify and are eligible to actually file a petition that day. If you do qualify, the attorneys prepare all of the paperwork and then they give it to you. You may then take it back home, keep it with you until you are prepared to pay the statutory fee to the clerk's office in which area, whichever area your case was originally heard. Hmm. Well, is there anything else taking place at the expungement summit? There's many things taking place at the, part, at okay. the expungement summit. Um, just because you may not qualify for an expungement or sealing because you may have a felony conviction, there were several bills passed this year and there are now 12 convictions that actually qualify for sealing. Hmm. However, most felony convictions do not qualify for a sealing. Since many people are very heavily affected by these felony convictions, we will have the Illinois Prisoner Review Board on site to discuss options with you with your felony convictions. Um, the state appellate defender will also be there. So even if you have out of county arrests, such as Lake County or Will County, the state appellate defender's office will be there and they will be able to just discuss with you how to address those arrests that happened outside of Cook County. Mm -hmm. I hear that the um, state of appellate defender will also represent uh, young people who may have gotten in trouble in other counties in the state of Illinois. That is correct. And will sometimes even go down with them to the court, such as uh, in Urbana or mm. Uh, other areas and represent these young people. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing that that office is doing. Are there any other uh, Are there any other vendors that will be there at the summit? There will be many vendors there at the summit. Um, there will be there's vendors there to discuss some job opportunities mm. um, for an ex offender. There will be job training vendors there, housing and community resources. Um, there will also be information there for veterans. Ah. That should be good. Also, if you're 
um, conviction requires a drug test to file for your petition, yes. there will be drug testing on site. So you could wow. actually get your drug test done that same day on site. All right. This sounds very comprehensive. <laughs> Um, what, op what options are available for me or anyone if uh, we have convictions that cannot be sealed? So there are many convictions that cannot be sealed. Um, unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, um, there are other forms of relief available to you. For instance, if you want to work in the healthcare field, you may qualify for a healthcare worker waiver. Mm. Um, if you want to work for Metra or PACE or CTA, you might need a certificate of good conduct. Um, there are some other occupations like being a barber or cosmetologist that require you to obtain a license to perform those duties. Um, you could get a certificate of relief from disabilities and that might help you with that. These forms for alternative relief are available on our website, which we mentioned earlier, and they can be filed with the court to offer you those reliefs. Uh, again, I'm going to um, show you our uh, contact information. Again, please note the information for the Office of the Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County. We're headquartered in the Daly Center at 50 West Washington with other locations around Cook County. Our telephone number is 312-603-503. 5031. And our website is cookcountyclerkofcourt.org. Um, just another question. Sure. Say a person can't get to the uh, expungement summit on that Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, is there or are there any other ways that they could take care of getting their records expunged once they have their rap sheet? They most definitely can. Um, we have a help desk lo located at the Daily Center, 50 West Washington, room 1006, Monday through Thursday. Um, defendants could obtain their rap sheet or criminal history report prior to coming in, and the attorneys would be there to sit with them and see what their eligibility was on those days also. Very good. Um, I'm sure that our viewers would want to know um, the success rate of people that actually utilize our services. Do individuals actually get their records expunged? Oh, yes. Every week they're getting them expunged. Um, I don't have the statistics in front of me to give you actual numbers for that, but especially with the new laws that were passed this year from 2017, mm -hmm. um, there's some new laws that are allowing quite a few petitioners to now get things expunged that were not available to them in previous years. So are you saying then that individuals should come anyway even if they m might miss the summit and come down to the Daily oh, Center? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you can either come to the Daily Center and we can give you the information at that time or you can just go to 3510 South Michigan and obtain your criminal history report prior to coming and seeing us. Yes. And then that will help the attorneys determine their eligibility. Um, they would fill out their paperwork at that time and then give them the instructions on where to file. And these services would be for free? The attorney services attorneys? are completely free, correct. Who are these wonderful attorneys? Um, <laughs> we are Cabrini Green Legal Aid Clinic, um, operates the help desk at the Daily Center Monday through Thursday. They also have a help desk in the Markham Courthouse on Wednesdays. Oh, okay. I didn't know we had added that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, first come, first serve, or can anybody just come? It is first come, first serve because their services are free and on a limited basis. Um, they take the first 20 people that come at 8.30 a.m. Monday through Thursday. And Thursday afternoons, they do an afternoon shift, which they are able to service 15 people on Thursday afternoons. And do people come for these services? Yes. Every morning, there's at least 10 to 30 people standing out there waiting to be helped that oh, day. Oh, that is wonderful. It is. It's that amazing. That is wonderful. Well, you know, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about expungements, maybe that we haven't covered before we close out? Um, I just want to say that um, just because you think a case is older 
maybe 10, 15, sometimes 30 years old, mm. um, it's still sitting out there on your criminal background. And you never know when that might come up as a determinant for a pro promotion. Maybe you're already employed, but you're being you know, asked to be promoted, and sometimes that, that will pop up. By getting it expunged, you never have to worry about that again. Okay. I hear that um, background checkers from different employers can come and sit and pull up people's backgrounds when mm -hmm. they apply for a job. Is that true? They do. Um, and they, or they'll call and request information on a um, you know prospective employee, and um, it, it depends on each company's procedures and HR policies. But definitely, a criminal background could be a deterrent for that. Yes. And especially what if they're not convicted and it's it's just sitting there? Right, because they might just see that this person had an arrest, but they don't know what the actual outcome was. Mm -hmm. It may be dismissed, but that employer doesn't know that. So, and they just report back. Correct, that there was that arrest. Mm. Well, it sounds like something that anyone who has come in contact with the criminal justice system ought to check out. Absolutely. And this expungement summit that we do yearly um, under the direction of Clerk Brown um, is a wonderful way for the community to come out that might not be able to get to public transportation and come all the way downtown to the Daily Center. Um, you know, it, it's very accessible. Um, this location is accessible by the pink line. It's very close. As a matter of fact, you get off the pink line and you walk right across the street to the oh, school. Oh, okay. Um, I hadn't heard of Unity Junior High School. Is that in Chicago? It's actually in Cicero, Illinois. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I know you'll be there, I'll be there, yeah. and quite a huge number of our clerk's um, management team will be there. Yes. Um, the I've heard that the uh, Prisoner Review Board, and by mm -hmm. the way, they don't have to go to prison to... Um, get cases heard before the Prisoner Review no, Board? No, they do not. Um, those are for pardons and, oh, I see we have a caller here. Oh, wonderful. Hello? You're Hello? On, yes, you're on Clerk of the Circuit Court Live. Hi, I have a question. Speak up, we can hear you. Can you tell me what is a rap sheet? Absolutely. The rap sheet is a criminal history report. So every time a, a defendant is arrested, they are fingerprinted by the arresting agency. Those fingerprints go into a database, and once you go to 3510 South Michigan Avenue to the police department, they will fingerprint you. And they match that fingerprint that they physically take on that day with the fingerprints that are in their database. And because of those two matching up, then they print out a piece of paper that has all of the arrests, the arresting agencies, the date, the charges, the dispositions. So everything that actually happened with that arrest will be on that document. Very good. Um, what is the purpose of them having that rap sheet there? Who uses it? Well, the attorneys will use it on the day of the summit to ah. determine the eligibility of that petitioner. Um, but in some instances, um, the, re the fingerprints are a very definitive way of matching a criminal record with a, with a defendant. Right. Um, because as we know, aliases can be used every day. Now, what is an alias? So, someone can be arrested and use my name even though they're not me. Mm -hmm. So, doing a name search is a great way for us to do a first check to find those um, cases in our electronic docket. Oh, okay. But the fingerprint number is most definitely the definitive way mm -hmm. to make that happen. I was just thinking somebody like a junior or a, co a senior. Absolutely. Or like a very these. common name, yes. like Williams ah. or Jones or, you know, something like that. We have another caller. Great. Hello. You're on Clerk of the Circuit Court Live. At the expungement summit this year, would there be other se um, services available? And if they are, what type of services will you have? We will have other services available. Um, the Second Chance Forum will be there. The Illinois Prisoner Review Board will be there. Yes. The State Appellate Defender will be there. There'll be numbers of vendors um, talking on housing opportunities, um, job 
um, participation. There will be on-site drug testing if you need to have a drug test in order to file your petition. There will be um, the Safer Foundation will be there talking about how to um, ex-offenders, helping them get um, employment. Right. And then also the um, Prisoner Review Board will yes. give information for those whose cases are not expungible or sealable for applying for a pardon. Correct. And that if they've correct. been paying attention, the president, before he left, uh, he granted pardons to hundreds of people. And once those pardons are granted, then the courts will order the clerk of court to expunge your record. So you get it a second chance all over again. That is correct. Once the pardon is issued by the by the governor, then you can come into the our office, the clerk of the circuit court, and file for your expungement, and the court will order that case there expunged then. Now what happens if they go to a job and they're asked uh, if they have a record once their case is expunged? Well, then they can um, legally say that they have no record. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're almost out of time. I thank wow. you, Liz, thank you. for providing such inf in interesting information about preparing for the 2017 Second Chance Expungement Summit and Alternative Remedies to Expungement and Sealing. Again, for information uh, about the summit, please visit our website at www.cookcountyclerkofcourt.org or like our Facebook pages, excuse me, Cook County Clerk of Court and Cook County Expungement Summit. And you may also call for more information about the summit at 312-603-5200 or 312-603-4641. Thank you viewers for joining us. Please tune in to Clerk of the Circuit Court Live next Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Uh, when our host Angela Robinson and guest star mix will discuss online orders of protection, also known as smart forms. We enjoyed you, Liz, and is Thank there anything you. else you would like to share before we close out? No, just remember the date, June 10th, 2017, at Unity Junior High School, 2115 South 54th Street, Cicero, Illinois. I can't tell you how important that is and parents and uh, friends and folks that I call ride or dies, you know who the people are that need to come and get their records expunged. <laughs> uh, bring those young people that you know who also had juvenile records who are now adults. Uh, their records merge with the police department, I hear. And after 18 or 19, when they are stopped for anything, they're seen as repeat offenders. So juvenile records can also be expunged. Juvenile records can also be expunged, and there will be juvenile help there at the expungement summit on June 10th. I think we're bringing our entire juvenile division. <laughs> we're so, bringing the whole office there, yes, actually. Yes, we are, <laughs> because we believe everyone deserves a second chance. So again, we want to thank you for joining us today, and tune in next week at the... Uh, Clerk of the Circuit Court Live here on Channel 21. And we thank you all so much for having us today. Thank you.